Since 1992, the Elton John AIDS Foundation has raised more than $150 million in support of the thousands of projects in 55 countries. We have become the largest AIDS funder in the United Kingdom and one of the largest in the United States. And we have responded to the spread of HIV in communities from Atlanta to Kiev to Soweto. I often have to stop myself and ask, why is it left to my foundation and others like it to address this global issue of existential co consequence? The answer, in short, is that collectively, the world's governments and industries are too often ignoring reality. And this creates gaps between what governments and industry are doing to address the HIV AIDS pandemic and what they should be doing. Additionally, one of every three new infections occurs among young people who are under the age of 30. This underscores the massive work that must be done to educate young Americans not only about abstinence, but also about safe sex and substance abuse. There is no question that it can be the hardest thing in the world to confront reality. I know this from personal experience. But confronting reality is the first step to changing it. And it is not just governments that must confront the realities of the AIDS epidemic, it is all of us. With all due respect, it is the people in this very room. Together, we can confront the realities I've described in a number of ways. Let us demand that researchers have the resources to undertake every new investigation of every promising scientific approach. Let us demand that government deploy health advances once proven effect effective. Let us demand that education programs that prevent new infections among our, our young people are put into place. Let us demand that Congress supports a new national AIDS strategy. And let us demand reform that preserves and expands access to HIV treatment, HIV testing, condoms, and sterile syringes.